Part 2 will begin with the African Biomineral Balance. It was first mentioned on its surface in 1988 in the Supreme Court of New York. When I mentioned the African Biomineral Balance, opposed to all the others as I mentioned before, the Ayurvedic, the yin-yang, the macrobiotic, and the homeopathic, well, Dr. Victor Herbert responded by saying, I've never heard of such a thing. I said, he's right. Your Honor, Dr. Victor Herbert hasn't heard about the African Biomineral Balance. But we have to remind the good doctor that he have not heard of a whole lot of other things. And the African Biobalance happened to be one of those things that he doesn't know about. The judge said, what is the African Biobalance? The African Biobalance, Your Honor, is a therapeutic approach that addresses disease on two levels. One, cleanses the body. An intra cellular cleansing. Not only we concentrate on cleansing the organ, we concentrate on cleansing the cells that makes up the organ. Now we go to the revitalizing of the cells. As we cleanse the body, we have to now replenish the mineral that has been lost by the presence of the acid that caused the disease in the first place. That means the biobalance come into the picture. The biobalance is the family of 102 minerals. Why? Because we are talking about organic food. We are talking about cell food. Cell food has to be electrical. If it isn't electrical, how could it nourish you? Because the human body is electrical. So the food has to be electrical. For there to be what? Chemical affinity, they call it. With chemical affinity, there is assimilation. There is production. Meaning, you digest it, it goes into your body and does the work you want it to do. But if that substance isn't a native plant, that substance is not electrical. It's a hybrid. It's acid-base. And this, what I just mentioned, resonated in my brain I began looking for herbs in and out of Africa that were alkali. Why? Because they and they alone are electrical. My brothers and sisters around me now, upon knowing that this was done, sickle cell was cured, diabetes and herpes and the rest, Dr. Sebi, why Oprah Winfrey haven't interviewed you? I don't know. Why are Sharpton having interviewed you and support you? I don't know. Why any of the leaders? I said, I don't know. But today, I want you all to know this. All of you that have been bothering me with this question, don't ask me that question anymore. Ask it to those people that you feel should know. Maybe they may be oblivious to what I've done. Well, I only want to send a message out to all of the leaders, the so-called leaders, male and female. There is a book out with diagnostic sheets showing that we have reversed AIDS. This is not a claim that we are making that is empty. No. Sebi. Sebi's integrity is above all else. And I would never sacrifice that for you and to nobody. So what I deploy, rest assured, it is the truth.